Welcome back to module 2 on the classical geometric partitioning of a particular ankle into some fraction. Still in the domain of classical geometric uh, construction of Fulham ankles in general, in this presentation, I'm going to show how to trisect an angle of magnitude 147 degrees. My name is Kimia Alex from the University of Science, Technology, and this is a picture of me. Now straight away, I'll go to the GeoGebra software and we start the construction. As usual, I need to clean or prepare the tools for using this construction with this I already have the strike line toolbar sorry tool in the ready for use I need that I need to have that and that tool for geometric transformation I'm going to begin by construction of a straight line as my baseline between the two points A and B that tool I already have my baseline through a b next i'll create a point c that is equidistant between the two points a and b and that's how we do it or make two acts equidistance or equidistant between the two points a and b that's my point c i am required next to join the point b to point c using a straight line that is it i'll go further and perform some bisection of the ankle, sorry, the code BC. Uh, the goal here is to generate, the initial goal here is to generate an angle of magnitude 8 degrees. And then from there, I can make 49 from 8 degrees. I'll show how to make the 49, the magic behind that. So next here, I'm going to have the point F. It's a point of intersection. I'll use the ankle bisect tool again bisect edf that ankle i slightly zoom in for accurate labeling right i have that point g now i'm going to make eight degrees and i'll begin by carrying the code ef here i've altered these points but no problem the principle still holds matters is to keep the principle in use so, okay, I should be having the compass tool I'm going to correct carry eg that's how I generate the point i the point i is the point of the intersection between this arc or this circle and the curve dh I'll slightly zoom in the figure for accurate labeling and high of that. Now I zoom out slightly so that I get my figure back in the working environment. I want to make 8 degrees from this ankle which is that 2 and I'll do that by contrasting the ankle I A B and as you show that's how I proceed. At point I pick the ankle bisector tool again bisect J A B that way change the appearance of that into this i want to label this my point of intersection at the point k sorry just be accurately placed or well placed now with 80 degrees we are able to get 49 in this approach this is the approach i'll use this tool to map the point b on to b prime about point a not well uh, captured B about A to give me B prime. I will use another tool here to draw a perpendicular between the two points that's B prime and B and I get 90 degrees. I'll give that a different color and I pick that. I'm going to label this point of intersection with this by the oh, perpendicular bisector and the curve BC as point L. Next I'm going to use this compass tool to carry this code BK that is 80 degrees and when I add it the, ex the other side of L that's the on the right sorry the left hand side of this curve it should give me 98 degrees now I use the ankle bisector tool to bisect 
and call m a and b and that gives me 49 degrees so i slightly zoom in the figure but before i do that i want to give this a different color uh, the one i'm going to use for all those lines substanting 49 degrees between them at the point a so that's the point n Now, I again join A to M, give it same color, that green, and still zoom in further. Using the compass tool, I carry the code M, N, and with point M as my center, I make another big arc, which cuts the curve mb prime at a point o i'll again use the straight line to join o to a that's point o to point a and again i give it that color now what these green lines mean is uh the anchors now there's confusion here i already have another green so i'll change the color here i can change this one actually other than changing the green it's easy to alter that one into that. That's okay. Now I measure these angles as starting with N A B, I get 49. Starting with M A B, I get 98. And starting with O to A, then B 147. That shows since the circle joining O to N has the radius OM is equal to MN, then the two angles must be equal, which is also concurrent, or they are also proportional to this uh, other angle here. That means if I have trisected the angle, one of the angles should be, the sum of the two angles should be bigger than the other one, and one of the angles should be allowed the whole given angle, that's the angle O, a, B. That's how we construct 49. From 49, we can bisect 49 to get 20 what? That is 24.5. You can bisect 24.2 to get uh, 12.25 and so many other things from this construction. So that's how simple uh, the application of Alex method in a construction helps us to solve these problems. We have done the trisection, the construction of 48, sorry, 49, 98, and 147. That shows we can divide 147 in three equal portions as we have seen here. We can again increase the magnitude or the accuracy to five or four decimal places and see 147.005. And that is it. Thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe.